got no brass today. Come on, you got brass once. Give me brass. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to the next subject, which is usage of lower body and usage of upper body. For you today, we have chosen a selection of steps. And the first step, it is something which I am sure you will very quickly recognize. Two walks, progressive link, close promenade. Very, very simple step. I'm sure you can all dance this step. But still, even through the simplicity of the step, the step remains very, very difficult to dance. The reason is that the precision of timing and the precision of coordination between upper body and lower body is very important. In this type of step, as men, I do not feel a division between upper and lower body. So I feel very much that shoulders are connected to hips. So as I dance this step, I feel that all the power and the rotation and the timing is controlled through my lower part of the body. So in a way we could say that my upper part of the body stays very passive and has a reflective, reflexive energy to my lower part. So if we dance this together, before taking position I am locking my upper part into my lower part. I'm now connecting to Lorraine. Now my action will begin through my legs and hips. And as my standing leg is rotating and starting to move my body, my moving leg is now lifting and preparing to go in position to receive my weight. Leg, leg. Now we still have no pull. I have not changed my upper part at all. So my upper body is still connected to my hips. Now from here, I am not going to rush the progressive link. In fact, I'm going to position my leg, position my leg, position my leg, position my leg. And as you can see, there's a strong torsion. So at this moment, my foot is rotated inwards because that would be the direction the direction of my next step. I am not entering with the upper part, so very easy mistake for the gentleman is to try and activate the upper part looking for speed. This step I have no speed, I have power and I will put speed into the lady action. At this moment as you can see again my hips and shoulders are very much connected. I am not open, I am not closed, I am at the correct angle in relationship to Lorraine and in relationship to my own space and body. Now from here, from this position, I am now dancing the close promenade and again usage of my standing leg to absorb my weight, my moving leg my moving knee is now lifting, is now lifting. No rush with the upper part, no pulling of the lady. I'm allowing again my upper part to react to my lower part, to just sit on top of my lower part and walk, walk. From here, again the rotation of my lower part so rotation through my thigh and a slight rotation through my hip, very, very small, 
very small rotation will again put the speed into the rain action. And now I'm just side, just change of weight and change of weight again. So as you can see, my upper part is very, very still. If I dance this one more time and you just look at our leg action, I'm locking up part to lower part. Now, leg, 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 hips, leg, leg, hip, leg. And now we come to the ladies' action in the tango. Here, I think it's very important that the lady listens. She must listen to the timing that the man is wanting to show in the tango. Therefore, I feel it's very important that the hips and the shoulders are lined up in the correct position. Now, for the man, I feel the position is more stable. I feel, as Luca mentioned, that the hips and the shoulders, there's not a great amount of movement there. They're in one piece. But for the lady, I do not feel that my shoulders are exactly lined up with my hips. In fact, I feel that my left shoulder is actually at a different angle to my left hip. If I just take that position by myself, as I stand here, I feel that my left shoulder here is actually rotating and swaying slightly down, therefore creating my picture. I maintain that position throughout the two walks to the progressive link. When I reach my promenade position, again, if I show you, I'm in promenade position and my hip is slightly opened, but my right shoulder is again slightly more open, therefore maintaining again my picture. So stability from the man I feel is very important, but from the lady I do want stability from about the waist area down, but I do want flexibility in the upper part of the shoulder area. Let me just show you that now. Going into the tango position, my body weight here is on my left foot. Here I feel the left shoulder, slight rotation to sway, softening of the left side. And following and feeling. Here I feel the right shoulder is slightly more opened, therefore creating a greater picture. And Back to closed and left shoulder slightly more rotated. Tango is very important that the lady listens to the timing that the man is creating. If the lady starts moving backward too quickly, she will then pull the man. Therefore, the shoulder weight would be in the wrong position. So please, ladies, rotate the shoulder weight, but do not change your weight position. Listen to the timing coming from the man. And the same in promenade position. Listen to the timing, but do place your shoulders in the right position.